it's time for another haul vlog. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I've just come back from Orlando swimming. I'm so behind on vlogging but this is the only spare time I've got to do it. So yeah, just gonna go with wet hair today. Um, it is a haul vlog today but I've bought quite a lot. Um, so I'm actually going to split this into two. I'm going to do a March haul vlog and a Facebook Marketplace vlog. Um, we're going to start off with the March just general shops vlog. So let's get started. So I don't know if it's just me, but personally, I'm seeing all new clothes in shops really, really increasing in price recently. With everything that's going on in the world in terms of the UK, I don't know about other countries, but in the UK, um, things are going up in price everywhere and wages are not kind of going up as well. So as you know from all my previous vlogs, my kids grow so fast compared to normal children. So things that may last kids a year, last my kids four months. They grow out of it way too quick. So I tend to buy anything that is in sales in bigger sizes as I just need clothes a lot more regularly than normal people. So let's get started and let's see what is in the first bag. So first up, we've got Poundland. I do go on about Poundland quite recently in my vlogs because I'm loving, loving their clothing right now. Um, first up, we've got this. This is a Minnie Mouse. I think it's meant for the pyjamas. It's a t-shirt and short set, but this is meant for Aubrey in Florida. This is size three to four. And um, this was full price at six pound. So yeah, that wasn't on sale, but for six pound for shorts and t-shirt isn't too bad, especially when they're Disney. Um, and next up was this t-shirt. So we got this for two pound. It doesn't have a sale label on for some reason. So this is for Orlando. It isn't a huge size. It's size nine to 10. Um, and yeah, it was four pound, but I did get it for two pound. Um, I do find that their sizes do come up a little bit small, especially when you've washed them, hence the nine to 10. But to be fair, when we're going to Florida, it's gonna be so hot that I'm sure he'll prefer a baggy on the top than a tighter top. And then this one, again, I got for £2, not £4. Don't know why the sale label's not on it. But how cute is this? The force is strong with this little one. Um, again, Poundland. I got this one in the 8 to 9, as it's the only size they had. Again, £4, but I got that for £2. I'm pretty sure that's all I got from Poundland. Um, I'm not going to lie, I haven't looked through the bags yet. Because um, this is a couple of weeks worth of shopping. So... If we come back to Poundland stuff, I do apologise. Next up is m and I'm not really a big m and shopper, um, but I did see they had a sale on, and their sleep suits are so thick, so nice, good quality, they wash up well, they don't even shrink in the wash, and they had this pack on a sale. This is for Aubrey. These are size 18 to 24 months. Um, they were £15.50, and I got them for £7.50, which is probably cheaper than... A normal pack that you'd buy in like Primark for a three set. Um, but yeah, love these. Um, they're all buttoned from top to bottom, which is so much easier at night time. Yeah, so that's what I got from M&S. Next up, we've got H&M. Um, I love H&M clothing, always have, always will. I am a member. Um, so when you spend so much money, you get a three pound voucher off. And if you order online, you get free delivery. Um, I got this, this I actually bought from in the store. How cute is that? That is so Animal Kingdom vibes. This is size two to four and it was $2.99. So I did not get that in sale, but yeah, $2.99, that's size two to four. So that, so that is kind of like for Florida or potentially for beforehand, depending on how big this comes up on her. And then this stuff I got from online. Now, how much did I pay for this stuff? Okay, so I got £3 off of one item and £2.49 off another. So I can't remember if this was for a sale. I think there was like a like member sale. Um, this one I didn't get on offer, but this is a Mickey Mouse hat. Um, this is for Lana. This is size 3 to 4. And this was a £5.99. Um, I do love H&M hats. So they fit his head well. They're good quality. The cap bit here doesn't go flimsy even when you like bend it over. So yeah, I got that for Orlando. 
and then for Aubrey, let me see which one's which. So this one I got £2.49 off of, so it was meant to be £10 and I got it for like £7.50. This looks huge. This is size three to four, but it is a Minnie Mouse like romper. How adorable is that? So this could be too big for her for Florida, but I'm thinking that like, because they're cuffed bottoms, if it was too big, like it would just be baggy on her. That's what I'm hoping. But if not, you know, at some point she is going to fit in that. Um, I also got this. So this was a full price. This was $8.99. And it is another cute Minnie Mouse dress. This is size, again, three to four. I just think that's adorable. Minnie Mouse has like leopard print ears on. So that, again, to me is animal kingdom vibes like that it's thin material so when we go away in the summer it's not going to be too hot for her but yeah that is super pretty and then lastly i got this so i got this in four to six i think that's because that's all the sizes they had left but when you look at them it doesn't look huge so these are technically pajamas and um, they're meant to be 8 99 and I got £3 off, so I got them for 5 99 So it's a Minnie Mouse on, like, a t-shirt, like a beige colour with black Minnie Mouse writing and faces on it. And then a matching shorts. So, yeah, these are size 3 to 4. They're meant for Florida. Sorry, they're size 4 to 6. Meant for Florida. Um, but, yeah, it depends if they fit her. But, like I said, she can always wear them at a later date. But that is everything I got from H&M. So next up is Primark. I haven't got that much in Primark at the moment that I liked. Um, but a few cute bits, mainly on sale. So first up are these tracky bottoms, size 3 to 4. So they've got Elsa on the leg and it says, <coughs> sorry, it says in my element. <coughs> oh my God. Sorry, I think my coughing's a bit has gone. So yeah, they were £6 down to £3. So I'm kind of thinking that they are to take away to Florida for like a travel day, something like that. If not, she's always gonna need tracky bottoms in that size. Next up, I got another set of tracky bottoms, again in size three to four, with this time the princesses, and it just has Disney princess on the leg. Again, this is six pound down to three pound. And what else did I get? Oh, I got this, this cute little pinny four dress. How sweet is that? So it's got mini ears and a mini face on it. And then it says mini mask in the bottom. Don't know if this will be for Florida because it is quite a thick denim. Um, I don't know. We'll wait and see. Um, but this was £12 down to £6. So I'm going to sort out as I go. Um, really random stuff that I brought. I brought this. This is a like snood, a princess snood. This was £3 down to £1 not for disney but always handy and then they also had a mini mouse snooze so like a thin one here and a thicker one as well that was four pound originally and then i think they put it down to three pound and then two pound but i got it for a quid <laughs> so i can't go wrong with that so yeah they'll just be kept for winter for her um and then lastly i got some mini mouse clips for her these went on sale, but I thought these were super cute. These were £2.50 for a set of eight. Um, so yeah, we're going to save those for Florida. And then I also got a bunch of Minnie Mouse headbands. These were £2.50 for two. So there's like Minnie Mouse ear ones here and a Mickey Mouse ear one here. Um, as you may have seen, my daughter has really long hair already for her age. So definitely going to need hair bands. And I'm not going to lie, if she doesn't wear them, I will. So that was everything I got from Primark, shockingly, surprisingly not. Um, as I was going through the Primark stuff, I found more Poundland stuff. So first up is this from Poundland. Um, this is just Easter outfit. So it's a vest with little shorties. And it says, some bunny loves me. This wasn't on sale. I got this in 9 to 12 as Aubrey will be going into that size within the next couple of weeks. And that was £4, but I thought that's really cute. And I'm hoping that this vest doesn't get super dirty. So I'm going to put that on her memory blanket as her like first Easter outfit. Um, and then this is adorable. I love this. Again, I paid full price. This was £7, but again, I think £7 for this, especially being Disney, is good value for money. 
and it is this little julie with the Minnie Mouse hood again this isn't for Disney this is just for general use for her age two to three and seven pound but yes I have sorted through everything now guys that is it from Poundland no more Poundland stuff okay now on to a really random 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 shop so I went into Hobbycraft a couple of weeks ago. The one in me were doing a charity day. And they're basically just trying to get rid of all their stock that they no longer want. Um, and they were doing everything for 10p each. Or you could fill up a little bag for pack. So I spent a pound, guys. And I absolutely milked it for everything it was worth. Because we know me, we know my children. But yeah. So first up, I got two baby girl balloons don't really know why but for like basically nothing i might as well grab a few of those and to be my best friend one of my best friends has just had a baby she didn't know the gender um and she just had a little boy did i buy any little boy balloons nope yes so i've got two baby girl balloons um i also got this jar not really sure what i'm gonna use this for but i'm pretty sure i will find some use for that um I don't know what any of these prices were meant to be. It was reduced to 50p, but I don't know what the previous price was. Same with the balloons. So I can't really tell you the prices for these. Um, I got some artificial snow for Christmas. Some little cute little reindeers. I'm not really sure if you can see those. What else did I get? I got two stamps. So this says, Kiss, Hug, Love Me. Um, and this one is a little snowman with a brush. You can't really see that. And this is just really, doesn't really matter what these are for. These are just for Orlando so you can do some painting. And then Aubrey, when she gets older, I also got some card toppers. This is just some candy cane sticker things. Um, some Christmas tree sticker things. And some wreaths as well, ready for Christmas, card making. Oh, I also picked up some presents. I then got some ribbon, which is like mitts, which is blue and pink. Again, just for some arts and crafts over the Christmas time. I got some cute little stickers. Again, these are Christmassy. They're like nutcracker type vibe. Um... I got some border stickers. So, yeah, these are basically like running stickers all the way down. My daughter's just woken up. It's fine. Dan's with her. I can just hear her. Um, and then I got this cute little silicon mold, which has got a Santa and a reindeer. I'm not sure if you're meant to... Oh, so you meant to use modelling paste. For some reason, I was just thinking, like, I'd chuck in some chocolate. Don't know if you can do that, but we're going to give it a try over Christmas. Um, got some little centres for Orlando. I got this van wooden cutout with the Christmas tree in the back for him to decorate. And a choo, -choo tray. And, yeah, that is all I got. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 items for a pound, which is incredible. I did put a bit more than the pound in the charity pot just because I didn't have an exact pound in change. Um, but yeah, so all of this stuff is really, really random, but mainly going to leave it for Christmas time. So we've got some arts and crafts stuff and getting flat later on. Yeah, that was a super random one, but that stuff was from Hobby Craft. Um, again, it was a charity day at the store that I live by, which is a bathing state. So I can't guarantee you they'll do this near you. Yeah, so that was really cute from Hobby Craft. Okay, next up we've got Clark's. Yes, I said it. Clark's. If anyone knows me, I've never bought a pair of shoes from Clark's before in my life. Not for me, not for my son, not for Aubrey, not for Dan, no one. However, they had a big sale on their shoes i don't think these have the prices on which is going to be really annoying um i think one pair I got for like 12 pound and the other two i got for 13 or 
14 no that's wrong i spent 34 pound in total so let's say I just average that at 11 pound per shoe um i believe that they were originally selling for around 30 to 40 pound two are identical which are these two so i got orlando oh no here we go how much did i spent oh no i lied i spent 39 pound so i spent 12 pound on the smaller pair of these shoes and 14 pound on the bigger pair um so they are exactly the same they are mickey mouse shoes i got him one in a size nine and one in a size 10 he's going into size nine next he's just going to size eight um clark shoes have a reputation for being really good quality really long lasting really supportive on the foot hence why i didn't mind paying a bit more but to be fair 12 and 14 pounds for a pair of shoes nowadays is relatively cheap like if you try to buy nike or adidas you're looking at way more than that and i don't tend to buy primark shoes for the kids that much not for like everyday trainers because i just feel like they're not very supportive um but yeah so i've got those for orlando i'm hoping he will be able to wear a pair when we're in florida realistically he should <laughs> Because he'll either be in size nine or ten. He doesn't grow; his feet don't grow at the same rate as his the rest of his body. Um, but yeah, so I got those for Orlando, and then for Aubrey. So these ones were thirteen pounds. And how adorable are those? So they're Minnie Mouse, and they've got a little Minnie Mouse bow. And on the back, if you get both out, they say Minnie Mouse. Um, so these. Oh, sorry, I got a stick on me. Ah, sticker. These I got in a size five, I believe. No, a size six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. Um, which, if I remember correctly, was the rough shoe size Orlando was in at the same age Aubrey will be when we go to Florida. But again, if not, it doesn't matter. She will always need trainers. I like that they're black. I like the bows, they're super cute. They are Velcro with just elasticated laces. Yeah, that was kind of like her first ever pair of shoes that I properly bought for her. And that makes me so excited. It's going to be ages still she can fit in them because I feel I really like this big. But yeah, that is what I got from Clark's. And then I did some mega saving on my next shop, which is Asta. So I will show you now. So this big bag here is full of Asta clothing. They had a big sale on. I think I spent £56 in total and I have worked out that I saved £70. So if I bought all of this stuff at full price, it would have cost me 70 more quid. So it would have cost me £126 rather than the 53 Don't know if my maths is right then. But no, roughly that. So let me show you what I got. And yes, if anyone's asking, I write down what I've got for each clothing size for each kid. So I don't write too much of one thing, too much of another. So I've just been going along and checking off the lifts at what to buy. So first up, I got these cute little three pack of t-shirts. They've got like frilly, frilly cuffs and frilly bottoms. Um, they're size one and a half to two and they were seven pound down to three pound. Of course, they are for Aubrey. They had a massive welly sale, which I'm really up for because Orlando loves jumping in puddles. So I got him both sizes. So he is, he's currently like the size up in his wellies. So he's currently wearing size nine wellies. So I got him size 10 and size 11 wellies. Both Spider-Man. I believe these both light up. Let's see. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. They both light up. I like that we can pull these in tighter around his calves. But they were both £11 down to £3. So that is just a huge saving. Who doesn't spend £3 on wellies? Like, you can't turn down £3 pair wellies, can you? Um, so I've got Orlando do those wellies. I got Aubrey some as well because she will need some when it comes to that time. So I kind of got the smallest size as possible. So these frozen ones I got are size five, which is kind of like the smallest size of wellies that they seem to do in there, which is fine. Again, these are lined up. These are a little bit more expensive, but look how cute they are. Um, 
How sweet are they? They were £11 down to £5. But again, £5 for a pair of wellies that light up. That's just a bargain. And then in size 6, I got her these cute mini mouse ones. And normally they didn't have these in size 5, or I would have got these because they're cheaper. Um, but they were £12 down to £4. So, yeah. I have also found, I don't know if any of your children go to nursery, um, but Orlando's wellies always seem to get left at nursery. So we need like two pairs of wellies, one for at nursery and one at home. So we've kept all of Orlando's old wellies that barely get used. Let's be realistic, right? They don't wear that badly. Um, and all his wellies that will fit her in that size, we will take those to nursery for her. And then we'll keep her new cute wellies for home and when we go out. So yeah. She'll have two sets of wellies, but one are new and one are old for nursery. Um, I also got this cute little thick jumper dress. This was seven pa uh, eight pounds, sorry, down to four pound. And that is in one to one and a half again. I got her these. So I didn't know if these were for boys or for girls, but I just thought like that leopard print could be girly, grey can be girly if you put it with a pink top doesn't really matter um so that says colors are my favorite and this is like a blue leopard print so they're jumpers and joggers and these are size 12 to 18 this was 14 pound down to eight pound the pile on my bed guys is just overflowing um i got her these long sleeved t-shirts um or we will be starting nursery really randomly um just to come out with it starting nursery in september so she'll be going on one day a week on fridays and um, so i'm hoping that some of like these aren't my favorite designs these t-shirts but i'm hoping that because they're so cheap hopefully she'll be in this size when she goes to nursery um so i can use these that's what i'm hoping i doubt it but either way she will still use these so there's five different colors and designs these were 10 pound down to five pound so you can't really go wrong for a pound of t-shirt Oh, that's so good. I got Orlando some tracky bottoms in his next size. So this is size six to seven, and they were nine pound down to four pound. So these are like some sort of dragony type vibes, and these are just some beige multi shaped ones. We're nearly there, guys. We are nearly there. Oh, oh no, that's not Oh god. Okay, so next up we've got this. This is for Aubrey. So it is some like long sleeve, pretty fr frilly t-shirts and matching leggings. Again, this one is in one and a half to two. So this was £12 down to £7. But I thought they were super cute outfits. Um, I got on her some jammies in his next size, which is of course six to seven. These were £10 down to £6. So these are long sleeve ones, which is fine because he'll need them during the winter months. And then lastly, I got this. I wanted it in a smaller size because I thought it was just so adorable, but they only had it in three to four. So it is a jumper, hooded jumper with a teddy fleece pocket and matching like, oh, do they call it waffle? Waffle style leggings type thing. This was nine pound down, oh my God nine pound down to four pounds so i thought that was super cute if she does fit into this this could also be an airport outfit i think that'd be pretty comfy for her but yes that is everything i have bought this month <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot of stuff um i hope you guys enjoyed this as you can see i love a good bargain always have always will I'm actually, whilst the kids are still asleep, we're going to quickly film the Marketplace vlog. Sorry, I've got a hair in my mouth. Um, which will probably go up a week or two after this March haul vlog. So if you like these vlogs, guys, please do comment, like, subscribe, share. Just keep watching, please. I, I love filming them and I hope you guys like watching them. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye.